Special thanks to King Donald Bro for providing us with today's MSM Draw. Submit a drawing prompt with the hashtag MSM Draw in this video for a chance for it to be drawn in the next one. All right, class, settle down. Let's begin today's lesson of what's in a name. The two monsters that we're going to be studying today are the Screamu and the Flores. So let's start first with the Screamu. Screamu is derived from Scream and Emu, a type of flightless bird, which is represented in the monster by its long neck. Aldrich is a corruption of the word Eldritch. Eldritch means something weird, and usually beyond our ability to perceive it because it's just so massive. Emerletto is actually the Screamu's name in Italian. It stems from Emu and Ulare, which is Italian for to scream. Fleewee could reference the act of fleeing, usually accompanied by screaming and perhaps also the peewee bird, which shares the same avian nature as Screamu. Goliath is a reference to the biblical figure Goliath, a warrior estimated to be 10 feet tall. The Screamu, if it stretched out its neck, could be tall and imposing as well. Keeb is just beak spelled backwards, which is ironic because Screamu doesn't have a beak. Lenska could refer to the actress and part-time singer Rula Lenska, because of their musical correlation. Lenska can also be rearranged to spell ankles, which is ironic because Screamu doesn't have ankles. Sieg is a variation of the word sing, and can also be rearranged to spell geese. Shriek is simply shriek, and splatter is again simply splatter, which refers to how the Screamu splashes itself with paint to be more interesting to look at. Filbert was an interesting name to crack. I found that the closest meaning for this name is Marie Elaine Thibbert, who is a Canadian singer. I figure she could be well known up where Big Blue Bubble is situated, but down in the Americas, I haven't heard of her. Tew, interestingly, is an Icelandic sound made to comfort crying babies. This could be a nod towards Screamu's musical wailing. Additionally, Tew can also spell jut, which is what the tusks of this Grimu do. They jut out from under the chin. Flores's name is a three-parter. It stems from flores, which is to glow, dress, and also the suffix s, which gives something feminine qualities. Eclipse is simply eclipse, which is when a planet passes in front of the sun and blocks out its light. Flora comes from a combination of the words flora, which refers to the flores's flower-like appearance, flores, as explained earlier, and also aurora, which is a light spectacle generated when electromagnetic radiation interacts with the Earth's magnetic poles. Glimber is a mix of glimmer, meaning to glow faintly, and limber, meaning flexible, which perfectly describes the arm tentacle noodle things that the flores has for limbs. Glumen is derived from gloom and lumen, a measurement of light. One lumen is equivalent to the light output of one birthday candle in a dark room. Glossum is glow, blossom, and gloss, which describes a smooth reflective surface, not unlike the dress frills of the fluoresce. Gloria is simply glow and gloria, a feminine name. Moparetta comes from mope, referencing Flores's gloomy appearance, and also operetta, which is a light-hearted musical play of sorts. Radiant just means outputting light. Rainglow is rainbow and glow. Sparktrum is spark and spectrum, specifically the electromagnetic spectrum, which contains visible light. Ultraviolet refers to the light wavelength of the same name, 
Its oscillations are more frequent than regular violet, so it is outside the colors we can see. And finally, xylophone is xylophone in tone. Xylophone refers to the kalimba-like sound the fluoresce makes, and perhaps the tendency for xylophones to come in rainbow colors like the fluoresce's dress. Ah, and there's the bell, which means class is dismissed. Thank you.